Hi, this is Sarah the Stitchin' Mommy, and I'm here for a quick little tutorial. Um, I have a video on my channel already that describes and demonstrates how to stitch on waste canvas. And I recently had a question about, is it possible to stitch quarter stitches on waste canvas? And um, it is. It's a little bit more tricky, um, but it can be done, as well as one over one stitches. And so I thought I would do a quick demonstration of that. Um, so I start off, I'm just going to do the loop start. So I'll show you that too. You take a, a normal length of, of floss if you want to do the loop start. You put the two ends together. I'm a floss licker. You lick the ends to thread it or however you like to thread your needles. There we go. And on the end is a loop. There we go. And so that's an easy way to get it started, um, especially if you're at the beginning. So this is just a scrap of fabric because I don't have anything necessarily that I'm making. Um, I will um, come up in a big hole in the waist canvas. You'll see there's two strings up and down and two strings sideways for each hole. And there's clear, obvious big holes. That's where you usually stitch. I'm going to come up all part of the way and then go back down and then catch this loop in the back. And this is how the loop start works. So then you don't, then you have something to anchor it. And I'll do, um, I'm just gonna kind of figure out a um, heart, I think is what I'm gonna do. Let's see, if that's down, I guess we'll just do it like this. I did not chart this out, I'm just kind of figuring it on the fly. If you want to do a quarter stitch, you need to come down, sorry, my thread's not cooperating. You need to come down right in the middle of these strings. You don't want to puncture the strings because then when you go to take the waste canvas out, it will um, not come out, <laughs> give you a rough time. So you want to puncture right in between all those um, strings. And I am using a fairly dull needle. I think it's a size 24 tapestry needle. So it's a bigger one. Um, this is 14 count waste canvas. If you use a sharp needle, it might be more, you might be more likely to puncture these threads. So using a dull tapestry needle is probably a good idea. And a, a big needle is kind of a nice idea too for, for that. So I'm gonna go back and do finish that cross and do another one over here, another quarter stitch. Just wiggle until it goes through. I'm gonna go over here to do the other side of my pretend heart that I make in here. Let's do my other side of this heart. I'm going to come up and do the top here. I'm going to do another quarter stitch. You come in a big hole and it might be easier as well as now that I'm thinking about it to, to come up in a big hole and always go down in the um, in the center because if you try to come up in one of those I think it's it would be more tricky so doing one over one would probably is is I have done it on waste canvas but it is tricky and, and I did use a sharp needle with one strand um, so that might be harder to do but if you can just with quarter stitches always come up in a big hole and then go down in the little middle hole and then you'll be for sure to get it in the right spot and again, you might need to wiggle to get it through. Hopefully this is focusing nicely for you. So again, if you, um, you it, so it definitely is possible to do quarter stitches, just like you would normally do it on Ada. And just make sure that you puncture in between those threads so that you don't, so that you can still take them out afterwards. Do 
another one. Let's see if I try to come up. And it was a little bit more tricky. It can be done, but it's a little bit more tricky because you don't necessarily know where that spot is. I'm running out of string, so that might be all I can show you now. <clears throat> I didn't really know what I was going to do <laughs> for what I was going to stitch, but just something to demonstrate how to do a quarter stitch. So hopefully that is helpful for you. And I'll do another one here from the bottom. See, I got in the wrong spot the first time. There we go. And again, having a dull needle helps that you won't accidentally pierce those, those threads. So if you want to invest in a size 24 needle to make sure that you are doing this in a way that's not going to puncture the waste canvas threads, um, that might be something to think about. So that's as far as I can get with this thread, I think. But there is some quarter stitches on waste canvas. And again, if you, let me try, let me show you real quick. If you wanna try one over one, you pull out just one strand. And you might want a sharper needle for this, but I'll go ahead and see if it works with this one because as I have it right here, and you only have one, one length. So in this case, I'll run it underneath here because they're here, so might as well. And I'll just come over here to the side and demonstrate some one over one. So you would come up in in the, uh, normally I would anchor that, that thread, so don't worry about that. <laughs> come up in the big hole, go down in the little hole. Might need to hold it tight. Come up in the middle of the, of the bottom area. And this is how you would do one over one on waste canvas. So it is possible to do these fractional stitches and tiny stitches on waste canvas if you need to, to finish your design. All it takes is a little experimenting to see what works for you. If you are unsure if um, you're going to be puncturing the threads with whatever needle you're using, maybe do a little test stitch and um, then practice taking the, the waste canvas threads out. And if it works good for you with the needle you have, then you're good to go. But I don't feel like, I feel like I'm going around all these little um, threads when I'm puncturing, so I'm I'm pretty confident that it's working. So there are eight little one over one stitches, which would be the equivalent of twenty eight count, because this is fourteen count. Uh, waste canvas. And to, for um, demonstration of how to put this on and take it off, um, you can see my other video. I will link that below. And I hope that was help, helpful for you. Feel free to ask me any more questions if you have them. And happy stitching. Bye.